But what's going on with this JFK thing? I missed this one over the oh, weekend. Oh, yeah. When did this come out? Fantastic. We, we have to interview over the weekend. this woman. <clears throat> huh? We ha- I have to read this book. She's, uh... It's probably the only thing that's good in the book, though. The excerpts were really good. Well, yeah. Uh, very but sexy. Very very A lot of these dirty. people that have one moment in time, and then they, they have, like, 200 pages of filler in their book. Big no, book. she had a lot more than one moment. She took a lot of fucking presidential loads. Oh, this wasn't a one-time thing? <laughs> no. <clears throat> Fuck, dude, I'm so out of this. Let no. me get in. What's yeah, she was, uh, she was an intern at the White House. 18-month affair <clears throat> with Jack Kennedy. Yeah. She was an intern at the White House? Yeah. yeah. So Clinton wasn't the first, huh? Mm-mm. He made fucking... Holy he, shit. JFK did it right. Four days into her internship... <laughs> this is great. She was invited by an aide to go to the mid, for a midday swim in the White House pool. That sounds nice. Yeah, midday swim. Yeah. Four days into it, you're all green and ready to go. Yep. <laughs> Where the handsome 45-year-old president swam daily to ease chronic back pain. JFK slid into the pool and floated up to her. Mm. It's uh, Mimi, isn't it? He asked. <laughs> yes, sir, she said. And uh, you're in the press office this summer, right? He does these impersonations. <laughs> I swear, you think it was the real people. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, I am, she said. That's what her voice probably sounds like. <laughs> oh, God. Lightning had struck. Later that day, Mimi was invited by Dave Powers, the president's first friend, and later the longtime curator of the Kennedy Library in Boston, to an after-work party. When she arrived at the White House residence, Powers and two other young female staffers were waiting. Powers poured and frequently refilled her glass with daiquiris uh, until the commander-in-chief arrived. Get her oh, liquored up. Liquor yeah, up. Yep. nice. Just so people know, they, they describe her as a slender, golden-haired 19-year-old. Yes, she's hot. Uh, they got pictures of her up, and uh, you could tell, even though it's like the early 60s, and, she's very hot. And and because of her finishing school, she was all polished and blue blood. Yeah. Blue blood. She had blue blood connections. So, mm. So JFK rolls up. The president invited her for a personal tour. Ah. She got up expecting the rest of the group to follow. They know better. They didn't. He took her to Mrs. Kennedy's room. Holy shit. Which, this, by the way, this is a president who has shit down. Oh, yeah. I noticed he was moving closer and closer. I could feel his breath on my neck. Ooh. He put his hand on my shoulder. The next thing she knew, he was standing above her, looking directly into her eyes and guiding her to the edge of the bed. Uh. By the way, four days into her internship. <laughs> four days. The day he met her. And we're not allowed to have interns. Well, we finally are. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, but he, well, he didn't kick her in the cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly, he unbuttoned the top of my shirt dress and touched my breasts. Yes. Then he reached up between my legs and started to pull off my underwear. I finished unbuttoning my shirt dress and let it fall off my shoulders. Oh, man. Kennedy uh. pulled his pants down, but with his shirt still on, hovered above her on the bed. Hovered. Uh. He smelled of his cologne, 4711. Oh. He paused when he noticed she was resisting. Holy fuck. Oh, she resisted a little bit, huh? Well, you know, little uh, pregame jitters. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> oh. Haven't you done this before? <laughs> he asked. <laughs> no, she said. Are you okay? He asked. Yes, she said. So he kept going, this time a little more gently. Ah, uh, what a guy. After he finished, he hitched up his pants and smiled at me and pointed at the bathroom. Takes her cherry, then he hitches his pants up and points at the toilet. Points to the fucking <laughs> bathroom. Yeah, she was a virgin. Um, she said when she was done, he was in, she was in shock. He, on the other hand, was matter-of-fact and acted as if he had just occurred was the most natural <clears throat> thing in the world. Was to him. <clears throat> Would you like something to eat, he asked. <laughs> the kitchen's right there. <laughs> no, thank you. Well, thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> he called a car to pick her up and take her home. On the ride home, it kept echoing in my head, I'm not a virgin anymore. Holy yeah, fuck. Yeah, how about you're not a virgin anymore, and Jack Kennedy took your fucking virginity. The next week, she was again invited to go swimming. He barely acknowledged my arrival, betraying no hint of what had happened between us just a few days before. I couldn't bring myself to look him in the eye, she writes. Later, he led her into a different bedroom. This was the beginning of our affair. Uh Uh-huh. Their sex was varied and fun. He could be seductive and playful at times and sometimes acted like he had all the time in the world. Other times, he was in no mood to linger. (laughs) Ah, he just needed to come. They spent an inordinate amount of time taking baths because 
And he changed his shirt six times a day because he hated feeling sweaty or grimy. I think he probably had a B.O. problem. Oh, wow. Sweaty Boston drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Just well, was, sweating out the fucking whiskey. Well, what it was, he was probably fucking so many different girls. <clears throat> oh, yeah. He didn't want the stink of some other chick's twat on him. And you know that big, hairy, early 60s bush. Yeah. Oh, they didn't even touch it as far as uh, no, any kind of manicuring goes. Yeah. How do you yeah. have time for politics? Oh, How the amazing. fuck? Well, he promised he would call late, later mm -hmm. under the pseudonym Michael Carter. Michael Carter. And then he played a recording of Nat King Cole's Autumn Leaves. He made her concentrate on the lyrics. Even JFK's, listen to the words. <laughs> this is the part that I think is, but is pertinent to our situation. When Nat says, I'm fucking you, keep your mouth shut, or I'll have you killed like Marilyn. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to the lyrics. Mar <laughs> Marilyn Monroe was so, uh, killed, so killed by the Kennedys. It all makes sense yeah, now. Really. You're trying to she make... She wanted a oh. yap. As a parting uh, gift... Uh, <laughs> She gave him a copy of the record and trimmed the and cover. Chlamydia. <laughs> yes, yes. Wait, you didn't. And a paternity suit. <laughs> you didn't say the words uh, oh. from Autumn Leaves. But I miss. Oh, it's. It was he a, made her concentrate on the lyrics. But I miss you most of all, my darling. Well, when was Autumn King Leaves Cole. start to fall. Yeah. You're not singing it like Nat King Cole. Oh. But I misses you most of all, me darling. Which Autumn Leaves starts to fall. I mean, you can see how a white girl can fall for him. <laughs> In person. As a parting gift, she gave him a copy of the record and trimmed the cover with leaves she had collected. Apparently, she was a retard girl. <laughs> yeah, really. He's collecting leaves on the White House lawn. What else? She gave him a macaroni glued to a paper plate? <laughs> yeah, he made her fucking painted. stalker patty. He made, <laughs> he made her a decoupage. Yeah, decoupage. No, she made him. Yeah. Oh, she she made him. Yeah. This is beautiful. Throw oh, this in the trash. You're trying to make me cry, he told her. Oh, God. I'm not trying to make you cry, Mr. President. She said, I'm trying to make you remember me. Mm. Within a week of her return to collage, she got a call from Wink Michael Carter. Michael oh. Carter here. He asked dozens of questions. What courses were you taking? Do you like your teachers? Are you fucking any Negroes? <laughs> were the girls interesting? Do you have any friends who will eat my ass? <laughs> what did she have for dinner? He then invited her to the Washi to Washington when Jackie was away. Uh -huh. Yes, my wife's in Greece meeting a shipping guru yeah. magnate who shall be fucking after my brains are scattered all over <laughs> Dealey Plaza. <laughs> my wife's making plans for the future. <laughs> A car service would pick her up and drive her to the airport, where a paid ticket to D.C. would be waiting for her. Nice. Yes. I have a lot of miles on Continental. <laughs> Upon arrival, a chauffeur holding a sign-up for Michael Carter would take her to the White House. Mm. Uh, on one visit, he was in the middle of the most defining moment of his presidency, the Cuban Missile Crisis. Uh. Although historians have dissected Kennedy's actions, none were privy to what he confided to Mimi. Oh, shit. He said, I'd rather my children red than dead, oh, he told her. wow. It was a chilling insight. When the president wasn't keeping the world from descending into war, there was plenty of wild partying. One instance was a raucous Hollywood bash at Bing Crosby's ranch. Oh, boo, 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 boo. They just knocked around women together. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, you mind if I punch you in the face? Yes. Yeah. Hey, Bing, could you bring your children in here? I'd like to <laughs> knock them around a little. I lost some money on the Sox game. My fat friend won't even watch the Patriots play. He broke his knee, man. <laughs> oh, wow. I was sitting next to him in the... I was sitting next to him in the living room uh, when a handful of yellow capsules, most likely amyl nitrate, commonly known as poppers, was offered up by one of the guests. The president asked me if I wanted to try the drug, which stimulated the heart, but also purportedly enhanced sex. I said no, but he just went ahead and popped the capsule and held it under my nose. Oh. He didn't try it himself. Kennedy had her doing poppers. Poppers. It wasn't her first glimpse of Kennedy's dark side. Oh! He had been guilty of an even more callous and unforgivable episode at the White House during a noon swim. So amazing. Dave Powers had rolled up his pants to cool his feet in the water. Ooh. The president swam over and whispered in my ear, Mr. Powers looks a little tense. Would you take care of it? Oh, my God. <laughs> this guy is great. It was a dare. This guy, you mean JFK? JFK, What man. a good friend. Holy fuck. Mm -hmm. You know, 
It was a dare. My friend, my friend wants to charge me to have his wife look at my script. Look what JFK was doing. <laughs> it was a dare. It was a dare. But I knew exactly what he meant. That was a challenge to give Dave Powers oral sex. Yep. I didn't think the president thought I'd do it, but I'm ashamed to say that I did. Yeah, you sucked that dick. The president silently watched. Wow, what the fuck? Alfred, then Mimi Beardsley. Mimi Beardsley. <laughs> Beardsley. Said that later the president apologized to them both. Ah! Ah, Mimi Beardsley. She can suck the chrome off a trailer hitch, Dave. She'll pull shit right through your balls and out of your cock. That Beardsley girl really sucks a good dick. <laughs> Her name is horrible, and it's a real cock softener. But wait till Mimi Beardsley gets your dick in her mouth. She sucks a good dick. <laughs> they call her Mimi Beardsley because she sucks your pubes right onto her lower chin. Looks like she has a beard. <laughs> Mimi Beardsley. Don't say the name because your cock will wilt like hot tea was thrown in your face. <laughs> oh, holy shit. <laughs> Oh, I fuck it. <laughs> Jessica Cantor is a sexier name. I'd rather I'd rather have M Marina Oswald is a better name than Nene Beardsley. <laughs> I don't like any woman with a name like facial hair. <laughs> Yes. Sounds like a Harry Potter character. <laughs> you remember Bessie Harelip? She sucks dick even better than Bessie Harelip. Yeah. Oh, Diana Prolapse was a good blowjob giver. Holy but shit. Mimi Beardsley really knows how to pull the cum out of your balls, Dave. Trust old Mike Carter here. <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah. She'll have your cum splattered all over. For years, they'll be analyzing the tape. Oh, look, his cock went back into the left. They'll think other people helped her suck it. She'll do it so good. How how uh, foretelling is this? Okay. <laughs> One of their last times together was at the Boston, at a Boston Democratic fundraiser. Ted Kennedy, the president's baby brother and future leaky-headed man, was in the room with them. <laughs> I could see that mischievous look in his eye. The bodacious Mimi Beardsley. 50-50 <laughs> where it counts. <laughs> this buxotic. <laughs> but enough of this palaver. Let's blow his brains out. <laughs> Uh, I can see that mischievous look coming to his eye. Oh. Mimi, why don't you take care of my baby brother? And by that, I mean give him a head x-ray. <laughs> <laughs> he could stand a little relaxation. Holy fuck. You've got to be kidding me. Absolutely not, Mr. President. About to be married to her college sweetheart. Oh, man. Tony Fashionstock. Oh. Wait. Huh? Tony Fonstock. That's met, his name? Yeah. She met Kennedy for the last time at the Carlisle Hotel in Manhattan. Ah. Seven days before his assassination in Dallas. Yeah, wow. What do you think happened in that hotel room seven days? You think she went back one more time? Oh, of course she. He met her in Another the Carlisle? Taste. Another yeah. taste. Yeah. That's too, right? Yeah, he fucked. I want you to go home and, and kiss Mr. Fonsdale <laughs> with the stink of my presidential come on your breath. <laughs> oh, Mimi Beardsley. I'm just saying your name so I don't come too fast. Oh, Mimi Beardsley. <laughs> Eat my ass, Mimi Beardsley. <laughs> Get little ass hairs on your face. Oh, Mimi Mustache. <laughs> <laughs> what a terrible, terrible <laughs> name. Mimi Beardsley. Oh, is that awful? It really is How fucking bad. How the fuck did she keep this a secret? Ah. Dude, she was pretty, man. Yeah, she was look at the picture. Cute. She got like uh, all of her features are very nice. What a great very profile! Smooth. Yeah, yeah. she got an amazing profile. Well, what did the body look like? Did she uh, have some slender. big heavies or anything? I don't know. Slender. Are there any pictures of her? Uh, that's it. That's, it, that's huh? the only picture that exists of her there's from back more. then. I guarantee you, there's some in her book. Oh. Yeah. 
One of her just sucking yes. fucking Kennedy's dick. Hopefully, yeah. I wonder how big his dick was. I hope she says. I oh, probably had a massive. Now he was Irish. He probably had like five and a half, six. You think? Yeah. Pretend it's a lot bigger. <laughs> Make a lot of noise when I stick it in. I have to shower again. I have armpit odor, <laughs> and I'm all hot because I wear a back brace, and it makes me grimy. Yeah, he did wear that brace. Yes, he did. That's why all he that couldn't fucking. That's why he couldn't slump down when he got shot. When he was shot, when oh. you see Kennedy, he grabs his throat. And he kind of, there's a very weird motion he makes in the limo where he kind of ducks. It almost looks like he's leaning on a fence. Oh, man. He had a back brace right. and he couldn't just collapse in. Oh, he could have fucking laid down in the seat or something. You, Maybe it, it wouldn't have gotten that some head people shot. Say, so that shot wouldn't have come. Yeah, some people say that that fucked him oh, up. Oh, man. It, obviously, a different time. Fuck. I was shooting all shit, Mimi in the head. All this, <laughs> shit, all this shit was going on and no one was talking. Yep. Nobody. Oswald did to me exactly what I did to Mimi, <laughs> except I did more damage. I blew her wig right off. Oh, Mimi Beardsdale. Beardsdale. Miss Beardsley. <laughs> I love to fuck a face that's named after a man's facial hair. It's like, reminds me of Dan Haggerty. <laughs> My wife's got a big Greek shipping magnate cock buried in her throat right now. Oh, I bet fucking uh, Onassis loved ass play. Oh, of course he did. Greek. And oh. his cock was probably big headed and fat. Oh, god damn. Yeah. You know, like a diner cook. I, I, heard, I, heard that, I heard that Aristotle's cock was like nine by six, and it like would really tip left, and he would look at her and go, what's that remind you of? Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, shit. <laughs> do they explain why she kept the story secret for so many fucking years? I, I, I think it's She's just a because... a good girl. How do you live with that story? Wasn't Not a TMZ. Anybody. Wasn't a TMZ country. We didn't Well, we there didn't has been for way. a while now, yeah. though. You would assume this would have came out before Maybe now. she didn't want the hubby to know she was yeah. fucking Kennedy. Uh, this is almost Kennedy 50 when, years ago. When, they were, when they were still dating and no. shit yeah. and getting ready to be married. Remember I told you that you were my first to her husband? Oh, God, that's right. She probably yeah. was a virgin Yeah. and yeah. told the guy, yeah, well, I haven't done that. I'm waiting for marriage. And there's fucking Jack... Yeah. Just pounding her fresh pussy. He would always wonder why her fucking, she had like a fucking her lipstick was smeared and her breath smelled like, what was it, 4711, whatever <laughs> yeah. awful cologne he <laughs> What were. kind of footy, what is that, like high karate? Yeah. Hasn't been around then. since. Yeah, it's probably, uh, it smells spice. like money. Kenny, yeah. Kenny might have got himself killed because he was fooling around with the wrong broad. Oh, man. What the fuck? I man. bet his bed, I bet his bed looked like the fucking seat in the limo. <laughs> 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 After yeah. 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 fucking that cherry. <laughs> That's why they cleaned it up so quickly. They were just so used to Kennedy making a mess back <laughs> yeah. there. They took him to the hospital. They didn't even know what was wrong. Yeah, what's the matter? There's yeah. blood in the seat? Yeah, happens all the time. Yeah, exactly. He fucks a lot of virgins back yeah. there. Do we need a, uh, to clean our hiney? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Usually they were wiping shit and intern tears off that seat. <laughs> Mimi Beardsley. <laughs> Worst name ever. Uh, Get is... me a woman with a horrible name. <laughs> Uh, Blow my friend Dave in the pool. His feet are being cooled off. He's just dipping his tootsies yeah. in the pool. If you thought Anthony out. Cormier was a piece of shit as a host, <laughs> I'll have you suck my friend's cocks. <laughs> <laughs> At least he'll just get drunk and repeat himself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a Super Bowl party. We're going to karaoke. Well, you're going to karaoke. I'm going to have Mimi Beardsley eating Robert's asshole upstairs. <laughs> hey, I'd like you to jerk my brother off in the kitchen of the Ambassador Hotel. <laughs> Would you do that for me? Just jerk him off into it. <laughs> uh, you're going to love Mimi, Bobby. You're going <laughs> to love her. <laughs> oh, my God. She better have been hot with that name. Yeah, it's that just name terrible. That name ain't getting her through any doors. Yeah. Just don't repeat any of the jokes I've been telling you, Mimi. He's partial to the Negroes. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, fuck, I think we just took on Book Radio. <laughs> I'll yeah, bet you that they yeah. fucked yeah. girls it's together, Bobby and uh, Yeah, you think they tag teamed yeah, uh, yeah. girls? Wow. That would be a, that'd be a biggie, huh? You know, me and Florentine, I pulled trains with Voss. You'd hope that Jack and Bobby Kennedy pulled trains together. Yeah. yeah. Now you know why uh, Marilyn Monroe died. She couldn't keep her fucking mouth shut. Yeah, you think like she the was rest of them. jibber jabbering about uh, fucking uh, the Kennedys? She was probably the one that said, I'm... I'm coming forward with this shit and she's one that uh supposedly had sex with both of them maybe not yeah, at the same sure time she but she was fucking bobby you gotta, you and, gotta think and fucking point. jfk it's absolutely true oh god dimaggio's just all pissed off about it yeah 
Oh, I bet man. you he'd punch her. That's why he abused. <laughs> he'd fucking knock her teeth out every time they fucking showed a clip oh, of God. Kennedy. Thirteen <laughs> days of the missile crisis. Every time he was up there, they breathe the same air. <laughs> Marilyn got a shiner. Uh, She's cringing that the State of the Union's coming on. <laughs> she just knows it's like a sound thrashing with a Louisville slugger. <laughs> uh, Camelot was bullshit. Yeah. Uh, old Jolton Joe DiMaggio yeah. just pounding her in the face. Anything that reminded him of the fact that she one time kissed him after coming from JFK's library. <laughs> yeah. He just aimed for that mole on her face. <laughs> That's why he drank coffee because he wanted to come out of his. He had the taste of Jack's cum, and he wanted to have coffee breath because that. One way to go, but <laughs> well, it's good though. Ah uh, shit! They all knew how to keep secrets back then. Uh, yeah. Well, if they didn't, they ended up uh, in the hotel. Well, the press the was supposed, better than too. Uh, drug overdose, huh? Because none yeah. of that stuff really is news. Who gives a fuck well, if an intern yeah. sucks his dick? Well, one guy from the press, you would think, would have said something. It's amazing yeah. they all kept quiet like they you did. You just didn't just amazing. do it back then, man. We can't even comprehend that with the world we live in now. Wow. Very good, Jimmy. That's a hell of a story. I want to read the book. we got to interview her, man. I mean, that's... That'd be cool. Yeah, can we get her? Friend, We'd talk love about to talk to her. Jack's cock size. You think I she'd talk about that? No, she wouldn't. She's an older lady, but <laughs> I'd, I'd... She's blue blood. Aunt. I'd squeeze in the question yeah. somehow. Yeah, try to uh, figure it out. Somehow, yeah. Just uh, word it in a way where maybe she, you know... Hey, uh, did it hurt? Yeah. <laughs> How long after, like, let me, I don't know how to be, how do I say this respectfully. How long after his head came off uh, <laughs> did your vagina finally get wet again? <laughs> like, every time you were touched after that, like, whenever your husband would rub your clit, would you, would you just think of that shot ringing out behind the stem and freeway sign? <laughs> <laughs> Do you imagine she's fucking a guy for 18 months, Man. The, the best looking, most powerful guy on the, on the planet, Yeah, and then just to see a murdered life? Oh, they didn't see it for five years. The American public didn't see this right. tape until probably 68. When she was 19, she wasn't telling all her friends? Yeah. You kind of think she was yakking. I guarantee you there's one or two no she one, told. And no one believed her probably. Hey, right. Well, they just knew better than to sh they, they kept their mouth shut. Yeah. yeah. And once he got shot, he just... Who's that? Marilyn Monroe. And that Reagan? Reagan. That's Reagan. Yes. Oh, Reagan fucked her too. Oh man. Yeah. Oh, she just Marilyn, pull down those panties. <laughs> <laughs> why uh, else? Why yeah. else would she be there? If you think about it. The fucking starts in five <laughs> minutes. <laughs> yes. Well, and I pulled up my though. balls, and they brushed the face of Marilyn. <laughs> See, everything he did later, he just uh, said uh, earlier, uh, Marilyn. Course. Wish I could do Reagan. <laughs> yes. That was a perfect Reagan. <laughs> People are like, you're not going to address Jimmy's awful Boston accent? Are you kidding it's me? It's a great it Boston perfect. accent. It's it sounds perfect. just What's like wrong him. With you? Close perfect. your eyes. You'd think it was him. Fucking perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Sha. Sha. What was wrong with that accent? That's got to be perfect. the best of what's in the book, though. I, I can't imagine there's anything else in the book. I could read a lot just, of lead uh, up and shit. Any details about that I want to read, though. I would like, like to hear about the Beardsley childhood, what it was like growing up in the Beardsley house. Yeah, you, what was it like? You think it starts with all that oh, bullshit? Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. God. I was uh, young, uh, born to the Beardsley her, family. Her path to the White House? Yes. Oh, how, it, how she got there. Snoresville. Her dumb fucking boyfriend, Tony, that cuck. <laughs> yeah. Presidential cuck. Yeah. <laughs> you know she used that in an argument. Oh, yeah. We were talking about it behind the scenes, but. Well, I you know, fucked the president. Right. It, uh, they probably had some kind of heated argument and she fucking yeah. broke that doozy out yeah broke that one out god damn jack kennedy the more i hear about him the more i just love oh him. what a great he's better it. red than dead yeah he's ready to give up if he's getting that done without yeah. without showing any nerves you gotta think he was knocking them back left and right and he's president during a pretty tumultuous time in in history and uh He's there just knocking them, knocking them down, with, setting them up and knocking them down. Which proves the time wasn't that tumultuous. Is it may, what, may is what I'm thinking. Ah, the commies. Who gives a shit? Bring he, me a virgin. He had all that shit under control in the end. Yeah. No, I bet he, you he knew exactly what the fuck he was doing. It was, pro it was probably tumultuous because of what he was doing. <laughs> They're like, Mr. President, we've been telling you for two weeks about these fucking Russian ships in the ocean. Well, how close are they to Cuba? <laughs> oh, no, I forgot about that. Mimi Beardsley had two fingers in my asshole. <laughs> she said there was fecal matter in her fingernails. <laughs> oh, you did mention that. I forgot about it. It's Irish now. It's Irish. I love it. Wait, how close are the boats to Cuba? Oh, fuck. My dick smells like Mimi Beardsley. If you launch an attack at us, I will aim directly at Russia. All right, thank you. Good night. Is Mimi in the car? I'd like my asshole licked. 
You think he'd just let it get closer and closer? He forgot about it. He didn't He's know. He's like, oh, I think I got a little more yeah. time here. Yeah. Uh, get it in one more time. Yeah. That's why he didn't fucking put... That's why there was no fucking bubble top in Dallas. I want to text Mimi, and I can't text it with the bubble top. Texting. I get no service in Dallas. <laughs> I want to send a mimeograph to Mimi while I'm driving. A mimeograph. Yeah, a mimeograph to Mimi Beardsley. <laughs> are you sure he didn't say better dead than red? A lot of people are saying that. Yes, no, that's, saying the better better red than that's why there was a chilling insight. Yeah, yeah. because it was. He, he, all right. Because publicly he was, saying, he was just bluffing. Like, like, I'd rather see them red than dead. If, yeah. if he, if if the Rushkis knew that he wasn't gonna really do this whole, you know, mutual right. destruction thing. <laughs> Mimi. <laughs> yeah. Their it. children breathe the same air as our children, which <laughs> smells a lot of times like my cologne mixed with semen and virgin blood on the sheets. <laughs> a little speck of copper with cum all over it. <laughs> That's what it smells like. <laughs> Russian children will breathe that in. Ich bin ein stinky dick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I believe in this decade. We will go to the moon and I will be blown by <laughs> Mimi Beardsley. <laughs> And well, do those other things. <laughs> <laughs> well, either go to the moon or I'll put my penis in some nice ass cheeks <laughs> while a girl is mooning in the pool. Could you finger Dave Powers, asshole, please? He said the socks lost. He's a little tense. He's a little tense. I would offer a massage, but I know I could get you to suck his penis. <laughs> Weren't you a virgin Tuesday? <laughs> now I'm pimping you out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yes. He goes from virginity. And yes. purity to suck in the president's pal. I know you've only had sex for two days, but would you mind jerking off Mr. Cruz, Chev? <laughs> <laughs> We're really talking about a lot here. <laughs> Holy oh. fucking A. Yeah, could you gang bang my cabinet? <laughs> I know you were a virgin, but <laughs> I'd like you to I'd like you to use your lips on Medgar Evers. He's acting like a real troublemaker. Could you get that Dr. King to stop marching all over the place? He's tying up traffic. Uh... <laughs> Holy shit. Suck my brother Teddy's cock. <laughs> Pull his pants off. They still might be a little damp. He had a little <laughs> incident, you know. He's tense. Teddy wants to come in your mouth, but don't let him drive you home. <laughs> I'll send the car for you. <laughs> yes. And don't mention my retarded sister while you're sucking his cock. That's a real sensitive point. <laughs> don't mention the tart in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> you can fuck me, you can relieve Teddy's stress, but don't mention Dumbella downstairs. It's a real mood killer, Mimi Beardsley. <laughs> don't mention the family secret that somebody was drunk with a baby in the womb and popped out an idiot. <laughs> She's in a home far, far away. Oh, Here, have some, have have a drink that my father brought in illegally. <laughs> have some bootlegged alcohol. You're a virgin, aren't you? Smell these poppers. Homosexuals will be doing it through holes in the wall. Oh fuck! Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. Here you go. This is what George Michael does. I know. I don't know who he is either. <laughs> Beardsley. He's a boy. Oh, oh fuck, man. <laughs> Well, we God got, damn, Jimmy. We got to book her. Uh, I would love to talk to her. I really would. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. We got we, we to break. Uh, we got a lot hilarious. of... hilarious. Don't play this break for her. But uh, we got a lot of live reads to get to. Uh, uh, bravo, Jimmy. Bravo. Oh, fuck. Thanks for calling the Opie and Anthony FU Live. Here's the latest batch of FUs. Fuck you! I'd like to say fuck you to the people who smell on the train. Who smells it? Eight o'clock in the morning. Fuck you. Take the bath. Fuck you! Fuck you, OB. Quit picking teams. Fuck you. Every time you pick a team, you jinx them. Fuck you! Fuck you! I want to make a F you to fucking traffic. I've been sitting here for two hours, hungry, and I want to take a fucking piss. 
Fuck you, traffic. Keep fucking moving. Fuck you. Hey, this is Floyd. I want to say fuck you to my boss for talking to me in the bathroom while I'm taking a shit. Man, time to take a shit in the morning. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you all for that deal. You me into these women are like animals. You need to swat them like the lioness gets swatted from the lion. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I just want to give a big hearty fuck you to my girlfriend after getting mad at me and saying you need space six months and you finally tell me you have a fucking retarded sister in a wheelchair. You know what? Fuck you, Avery. Fuck you. I just want to say fuck you to my digestive system. On my way to work, I just burped, kind of threw up in my mouth. Fuck you, digestive system. Fuck you. I want to give a big fuck you to my truck economy, my dispatcher. They need fucking tether and reno for five fucking days. It won't move me to get a fucking load. Y'all can kiss my white ass and suck my dick. Fuck you. Fuck you. This F you goes out to my co-worker who eats with his fucking mouth open. All I hear is... Quit smacking your teeth. I'm going to punch him out, bitch. Fuck you. Okay, for the Canadian asshole that says don't be an agony show, go fuck yourself, moron. I'm over here now. Fuck you. Call the Opie and Anthony FU line, 866-FU-LINE-1. That's 866-FU-LINE-1.